and all of you know i don't have to say this uh, he was an inspiring leadership uh, during those you know very trying times and tough times of you know talks with naxals and all and all my success in that district sir i owe it to you sir uh, today i got the the opportunity to say once more in public you all know how we, i mean when the morale of police was down with the happenings at that time how we you know lifted the morale of police you all remember that you know that famous tv uh, i mean shot where he said we'll comb next life like this and he just took out a uh, comb from his pocket and just combed and that has really that has really gone well with the with the police with the rank and file of police and we uh, today whatever we are and whatever name the dashwell ap and the telangana police got it is all because of the as i told it was a very short time so i don't have much uh, i mean not too much of thought has gone into it except that i was briefly associated with the subject as special secretary home in the combined state of andhra pradesh so <clears throat> at that time i had the opportunity of uh, going through that new act which was uh, just then enacted uh, it has to be put into practice in ap but due to certain uh, uh, you know issues we couldn't uh, immediately take it off i mean take, take i mean that couldn't take off immediately uh, but i think now the things have settled down uh, to start with i'll say this i mean we all know that uh, every policeman is a you know is a civilian in uniform and every civilian is a policeman without uniform but today now we have something in between that is you somebody said private police but we can't accept that we can't have a private police limited or police private limited already these are you are all civilians who are donning uniform also and who are i think uh, doing a great job of uh, filling the gap the we all know the developed uh, countries have about uh, 1 is to 300 ratio of police uh, citizen uh, ratio but in our country it is almost 1000 uh, 1 is to 1000 so it is you people who will i think fill up that critical gap and the the importance of you know that filling up of uh, critical gap need not be reiterated <clears throat> but uh, what i noticed there are a couple of things which uh, i would like to ask special secretary home again when we were uh, screening some of those applications for uh, Uh, clearance uh, for giving licenses i had a uh, issue I, we got a complaint from uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, the citizens of one one of the districts that in at so and so place uh, the private security guards have been inducted without verification and uh, uh, the simi simi terrorists have been uh, have infiltrated into that particular uh, industry it was a scj rather so i had to go as personal i mean special secretary personally go and then uh, inquire into that uh, we couldn't really uh, uh, bring out any anything very very significant fr- from that inquiry because it was only one uh, uh, visit but later on when i alerted sp and uh, six months later that came to be true so there were really some semi activists who were trying to get a foothold in that scj luckily they were not hardcore luckily they they did not also train any people or uh, motivated or incited any any people by then so it was nipped in the bud so the issue here is yes this sector needs to be enlarged this sector definitely needs to you know to fill up that critical gap which i already discussed but you have to be very careful the you know uh, unruly elements the un- unwanted elements and you know the uh, terrorists also can infiltrate through this you uh, please be aware of this uh this was city uh, that uh, sri city in uh, nellur the special economic zone uh, at that time i was told in a meeting that the number of private security guards in our country this was 2012 i am talking about the number of private security guards was equal to the number of central government employees that was 1 crore perhaps in the last 3 years it must have grown uh, further it may be 1.5 crore i don't know i mean you should tell me so if it is really 1 crore even that is quite alarming quite a big number i mean uh, sorry to say it's not alarming but quite a big number to manage so it is all now in your hands how you manage them how you train them how you you know use them for the security purposes and not for the counter uh, you know purposes not for definitely not to the detriment of this country so that's one thing i thought i would alert with my experience and uh, coming to the training there is a need to have you know the security guard the hiring agencies uh, separately and the training agencies separately now the trend so far the trend as, as far as i know till 2013 is that you hire you only train and then the training is very loose it's not a really structured one 
in fact at that time i came forward that we can we could train some of you you people um, got side by you in our police training institute because they were uh, the, the district training centers etc were available and they were kali so we were uh, telling them but then it there's there is definite need for you to develop a specialized you know uh, uh, develop specialized training institutes for this purpose so that they really get trained and then as uh, mr murli murli then was saying the time would come when i mean they would they would also be given guns what is the difference between a private security guard and a policeman apart from calling him as a, po a private police the only difference i feel is the policeman has the power to arrest but private security guard cannot do that but except that everything else he does same thing queue if it is it is some crowd control queue management then all the if it is some uh, vip meeting it is access control then you people are also manning the dfmds you people are also manning hhmds so nothing else is different except that the power to arrest which is you know vested in police by the crpc where it is not there with you but you can be interested with a gun definitely uh, but then yes in the interest of the nation in the interest of the public